let's go to Venus. I have my iced coffee, so I am ready to go. Let's head back on outside. Like I said before, we are just chugging along on the main quest for now. Eventually we'll go back to New Atlantis. We'll do some of those other quests or act activities. And then the only other thing we picked up here currently, I believe, was the mining, mining activity where we need to find iron. So I can just do that as we go, I think. The only thing is I wonder if now let me let me see something really quickly. We need to gather nine iron, but I feel like I have a bunch of iron on my ship. So I, I think I'm, what I'm actually going to do really quickly is go on the ship, collect the iron that we have and just bring it to him and get that out of the way. Wait, it's really cool here during the day. I kind of like that it's all red like this. It's interesting. I also like the look of like this. It looks just so realistic. <laughs> and she's running backwards. Okay, in we go. <laughs> I can't imagine being stuck down here gathering rocks for a living when there's an entire universe to explore. Yeah, I know. That would that would actually really suck. But people gotta make a living somehow. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay, I can see you're serious about helping. That ore you mind is really gonna bolster our numbers. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Okay. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Mm -hmm. And you as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Wait. <laughs> you want me to become his assistant now? This is so backwards. What is we this? just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. Okay, it's not going to be easy. I know this. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be easier to ask him to approve it? You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless <laughs> without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. Uh-oh. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Mm -hmm. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. Okay, fine. Now hold on, it's not that easy. Oh. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to uh, the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Oh, Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need. Hmm. I agree. In order to avoid injuries, please report any spills or Maybe she's just like feels bad. To the Sidonia Department of Public Works. I think she Concurred. heard. I want to head on over to Reliant. Dr. Flynn will get you patched up. What? Oh. Okay. Um, she's not a naive person. Like, I think she knows this is... I, I feel like she feels like this is... Thought we had struggled. There's more to but this. It turns out it was just another deep water deposit. <laughs> Um, I definitely think she realizes, like, something's up with this. This is, like, a lot. But I also feel like part of her maybe has a little bit of a soft spot because she really did care about Lynn and Heller and them in the beginning. Like, I feel like she really liked them. Even though she was never planning on being a minor for forever. Um, it was just a quick gig. But, yeah, I feel like she had a acquired a little bit of a soft spot for them so she wants to help out the miners here as well even though i feel like she's a bit suspicious of this so 
whole operation. It does seem really suspicious. Okay. This song is reminding me of Mass Effect right now. Mm, that's like my all-time favorite space game. I, or games. I love Mass Effect so much. I haven't played many space games. I also played Outer Worlds. That was a fun, fun game. I'm excited for the sequel to that one, but it doesn't even hold a candle to the Mass Effect series. Ugh. Head to my crew position. Man, do I love Mass Effect. I'm doing an oral history of Constellation's most decorated members. It's just me repeating your name into a data slate for five hours. <laughs> I love him. I wonder if he'll get a... Um, if he'll get his own... Like, companion quest or something. Okay, so I need to do... Let me see our missions. Where is this at? Apply for the assistant to the director job. Is this, <laughs> am I going to be the assistant to the director or will I be assistant director? <laughs> um, if, if you know, you know. Okay, uh, show on map. Okay, so we gotta go... How do we even get here? I guess we could do this really quickly. While we're here. I'm already getting sidetracked, guys. This is a problem. We'll come back. Let's go. Finally. 30 minutes in. We are finally going to Venus. <laughs> Well, 30 minutes after Hello, what do we have here? saying I was going See to. See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. Mm. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Um, I doubt they know... Where our vanguard is? Why are Varun zealots out here near Venus? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the zealots are outside of their control. Mm. Or so they say. Mm. Interesting. Um, do you see Vanguard Morera's Morara ship no, anywhere? No other ship readings in the area. Hmm. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Hmm. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. I'm opening fire. <laughs> Those zealots are a threat to the whole system. Um, let's see. So we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay. Minimize ship system power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to, to, to detect. Okay, so we have to lower the shield. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines. And stay as far away from enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so you can activate it. Okay, so... Uh... Press E. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I think I have to do...
right? Okay, so I think we need to go... Satellite beacon, that's where we need to go. Can we go, go like... Oh, great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. It's like I'm upside down. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Okay. Creepy. Where are they? Okay, they're all the way over there. Okay, we're fine. We got this. Okay, so if you want to be sneaky, you have to turn literally everything offline, but God forbid we get attacked, we're screwed because we have no shields. <laughs> Wait, I remember this. Although, I don't know that I'll be sneak that sneaky. I want to be able to, like, board people's ships and, and fight on their ships. I think that's fun. Versus fighting in the sky. Like, I don't... And it's definitely a cool... I like that it's an option. I'll say that. I think it's cool that they added that feature. It's just not really my cup of tea based on what I did in, in uh, the last video. So... Alright, are we... Okay, we need to get within 500 meters, right? Hopefully they don't see us. I mean, they're like all the way over there, so I think we're okay. So close. So close. Wait, what happens if I hit it, though? Okay, ask me. This is Back on Moira. To all you see affiliated ships, I'm heading to the Nova Galactic Storyard orbiting Rux Moon. Yeah, yeah, I know. The whole place is decommissioned. But I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. Okay, so where do we need to go now? Nova Galactic. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Oh, we do need to go to Luna. Okay. Let's go. Getting used to, like, mapping where to go and stuff. Okay, so we learned how to be stealthy. Um. Ah, oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. Ooh. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. That's so cool. What happened to Earth anyway? Why did oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Ooh. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. That's insane. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Hmm. <laughs> Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the moon. Well, if you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. Well, let's do Just it. Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara and that artifact when we're done. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was mostly joking. I didn't think she'd be cool with it. Most star stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship in your hood and then fly close enough to it that the dock prompt appears. So... Where am I trying to land here? Uh, so am I landing on the moon? What's happening? 
Let's put this bird on the ground. Where's the iron? What's this? There's a few different like places to go over here. Any fall damage in this? I feel like I haven't figured that out yet. Okay, well, what's up here? We have to fight some people. I do want to get some fighting. I haven't fought anyone in a minute. I'm itching for a fight. Abandoned Bionics Lab. Is it abandoned though? That is the real question. See if I need to give her weapons. Do I have a boost pack yet? Should have switched to first person, not gonna lie. Ooh, ooh. When it, uh oh. Uh, okay. Let's go. I didn't find any iron, but. Out! Out! And away! I already forgot. I gotta do something. We gotta actually, like, do something. <laughs> I feel like mm, looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it? I'll spend like hours just literally just wandering and doing and like getting nothing done. Well, I thought I was supposed to just get close to it, but it doesn't exactly let me land. I don't know how to land. Hmm. 
I thought it would give me like an option to land, but it won't. I'm just gonna hit the thing in a second. Yes, it's right here. Can you slow down? Makes no sense. Can I? Oh my god. <laughs> Land. Okay, I just looked it up. Oh god. This is <laughs> I don't like the flight stuff. I'm I'm not going to lie. It's really hard to maneuver. I know I made her a pilot, but okay, 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 okay. I think I have to do there. I wasn't seeing that either. They make that shit so confusing. <laughs> the I will say the UI in this game is a little like it, it could use some work. I think. Okay. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made into a movie? And who do you think will play me? Mm, you're not going to be in a documentary about my life, sir. I don't know what... What's happening? Why? Okay, there we go. R. Dude. You have to hit E. So confusing. <laughs> Airlock integrity looks good. That was a pleasant change of scenery. Two steps in, and we're already looking at a corpse. Yeah, nice. Okay. It's not Vanguard, Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with the spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Mm -hmm. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Why she get to wear her normal clothes and I gotta wear this? Take that. Hmm. Uh oh. Not even out there. What's happening? Okay. We're gonna have to take this out, I think. Oh. Gonna bury you. Where are they? That was an ecliptic mercy.
Oh, you're right there. First person, like... Hello? You? Oh. I'm going to end you. Hello? Where'd she go? Or is she dead? Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. Okay. Okay, what am, what am I doing? Why am I floating in the sky? I always feel like I just get caught on like everything. Anytime I, I shoot, it's like I'm always stuck on something. <laughs> second. Okay. Let's go back. Where are you? Ha <laughs> ha! 
thought that was a board game. <laughs> 2301, finally saw the release of Crimson Cabin, Paul Lamont's long-awaited sequel to the hit novel, The Fruit Cellar. Like his previous works, it sold in the millions throughout the settled systems. Freedom, savory, delicious freedom. The hag smiled as she peered up at the open trap door. She slithered rather than climbed her way up the narrow rickety staircase. In seconds, she emerged from the fruit cellar into the cabin proper. Someone, some unknown ally to the dark had broken the arcane seals that had been put in place years before. Sunlight, glaring and harsh, poured in through the open front door. And now, hissed the hag, I will leave this cabin behind and visit my beloved Vermont once more. Knock, knock, who's there? Varun, Varun who? Varun, Varun, listen to that engine. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. An alien spider beast walks into a bar in Aquila City. Bartender asks, what's your poison? I feel like these are better than the other jokes. Why did the Crimson Fleet pirate go to the enhanced clinic? He wanted more booty. Oh, because they like to steal. Oh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Neon. Neon who? You put one knee on the floor to genuflect. Two knees to kneel. What? <laughs> oh, neon. Neon? Neon who? You put one knee on the floor. Oh. Haha. -ha. You hear the one about the Freestar Ranger who couldn't get into the conference? I forgot his badge. Hmm. They're like Texas Rangers, you know? Some oh, a side star pistol. Okay, but the Eon has a lot of rounds. We'll just, stick, I think we'll stick to this for now. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll just take it. <laughs> Missing one rose gold earring with a sapphire center. don't know how can I do this really quickly uh wait 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 hold hold I meant to do melee is V oh Let's see. Okay. 
We'll make that. Because they like the melee. Oh god. Got any weapons or ammo? That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Um. I can level up. Let's um. We needed that. We're almost at level five. I feel like, oh, I hear them. Okay, hold on, let's see. I also need to level up to come after him. Interesting. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Oh. oh god, I'm stuck. See, I get stuck on everything. I can't get I can't get into cover. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. I'm stuck. I think it's easier if I do this, maybe. Okay, but you just handle them, okay? Sarah die? Where is she?
janky. Maybe I do need to change my pistol, I don't know. Oh, oh. What's going on? Okay. Oh god. The industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufactured components which can be used for building structures for your outposts and crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. The raw resources used... Okay. What's this do? up again okay hello <laughs> let's do okay we need that Anybody else? Oh, there is. Oh! They run so fast. Try the side start. Okay, let's go. I think I got everyone. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> have. Unless they just keep, like, spawning. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to Neptune. If you have any orders, I'm ready to receive them. Like, ignored. <laughs> so... 
we will undock and continue our search. Laura apparently has loose. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Okay, I should probably We need shields. I feel like I need like a little bit of everything, right? Okay. I still don't really understand how flying works. That's taking me some time to get used to. I mean, I still don't really fully understand how like anything works, if I'm being honest. Okay. So we need to try and plot our next course. So I think we need to do this and then we'll show it on the map. Okay. Let's go back really quickly. Okay. Let's set the course. Show me. Okay, let's travel. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the rhythm of plotting the course and traveling, but it's definitely Wait, you a see bit that? tricky. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Right here. Okay, I guess we just fly there. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. What? Oh, oh God. Shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Mercs hijacked my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they'd light me down. Really could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead, and our artifacts gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. Okay, okay. What's the other thing I'm supposed to hit? Is it G, I think? Where are you? Yeah. Kinda like, ooh, ooh. Shields are offline. Do, am I supposed to board now? Like, what's going on here? They've lost grav jump capability. Come here. Okay. I want to board you. Come here. me. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew on the ship to fight back. Okay. Let's get ready for some more fighting. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Alright. Laura, we're here. Solid docking job there. Nice work. Thank you. It's good to be back on board. Is it? Thank you. Synthetic turkey. Yum. <laughs> Q. 
Heaver. Who's coughing? Show yourself. Okay. Okay. No, no meds. Okay, I'm gonna go through there. Take the pie. Solar Frontiers. I think I have that one, right? Oh, yeah. I think that's the one that I... <laughs> that I dropped. Okay. Wait, what is this? Wait, where do I need to go? I thought this was where I was supposed to go. The bathroom. <laughs> Am I missing something? This way? Oh my god. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Hmm? Oh, I missed. Stuck again. I'm always stuck. Oh, damn it. Okay, don't get in my way. Hello. Not another one for me. Bring it on. Okay. Again, out of my way, lady. Oh, okay, I'm missing. Oh, God. drop. Okay. Let's go find him. Moara! Oh, there you are. How are you doing? Oh, I'm still encumbered? Shoot. <laughs> Am I going to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Hmm. Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives? My kind of party. Who were those people? Why'd they hijack your ship? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Hmm. Well, yes. Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives. All in a day's work. <laughs> now I know that kind of talk. You two marines? No. Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange <laughs> object you found on It's patrol. right to the point. <laughs> so, you know what that thing is. Mm -hmm. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? No. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. <laughs> Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. All right. Oh god, we're gonna touch it and some shit's gonna happen. Good work. Oh. Let's get back to the lodge. Just kidding. All right, cool. Um, are you gonna be good? Thanks again for the rescue. <laughs> don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. I don't know, dude. You probably would be dead. Back to the lodge, shall we? Maybe another time. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. One... Second. Hello? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> What else? What else? I don't need all of these. I literally don't need any of these. I need those though. But I want these ones. Okay, I can probably find another one of those at some point. Am I still encumbered? Shouldn't be. Space suit workbench. Oh. So we can add on. Wait. These are like mods. <laughs> I want to get a different suit though. I guess I can make my own suits. Hmm. Or is this what I already have on me? <laughs> Not quite sure. Blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Basic boot boost pack. Is this what I are? Is this what I have? Am I still encumbered? I am. Shit. Okay. Well, let's go back to the lodge. We will undock. Let's go. Pressure normalizing. Undocking complete. Perf. Let's go. I realized I'm only like five and a half hours in. I could have swore I've been playing for way longer, and I'm like, I haven't gotten anywhere. <laughs> but it's really just because. I I don't know. I, I really haven't played that long, I guess. Surprisingly. Okay. Let's go. Eh. All right. I am at your service, Captain. <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's mm. speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Yep. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Space helmet, space suit. Okay, cool. What does it mean to be a full member? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. 
Hmm. Is this like rude? I just want to be like funny. I expected champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, what did it say up top? How would you I like to keep it? traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Why ask me? Why not someone who's been here longer? Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. <laughs> Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? Sure. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. Hmm. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No Trip. other word. Mm, hmm. That's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Who's Sam Co? What's this expedition of his? Well, I know who Sam Co is because he's the cowboy. That's been all in like in all the trailers and everything. He's the Dilf. We're definitely gonna do that one next. <laughs> Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, oh, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> what can you tell me about Barrett, anyway? His mind is always somewhere, hmm. but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. <laughs> okay, and then what is the eye? And who's Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Okay. You okay? Well, okay, give me a second, lady. Time to go? <laughs> um... Maybe. All right. We'll talk to Samco. She cannot wait to meet her. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what she's like. Yes. <laughs> Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'm gonna I'll love him. To the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. <laughs> and you must Whoa. be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Oh, thanks. Mm. Speak. This is so <laughs> the word. <laughs> Speaking of family, you two related? No. Funny story. I caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. All right, that's my one. Oh my god. <laughs> well, don't overwhelm me with welcome now. I might never leave. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Oh, great. Kind of all that family is in a way. Like more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. She's so cute. 
Aren't you a little young to be a space There's explorer? No, you have to be this tall. Sign for space. Oh, okay, my bad. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. All right, well, good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Hmm. Not much. Anything that gets me out there works for me. I feel the same. Yeah, I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. All right. Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay. Easier said than done for Nick. Okay. Hmm. Do I do it? Or do I just... I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Mm hmm? What are you humming about? Well, the lighting in here looks great. Okay. Let's um check out... Okay, okay. Well, we're that. Mm, I think the one I have on is better. We can keep this on us, though. It looks nicer. Wait, which is the one? No, they didn't give me that. They gave me... Maybe the helmet? gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine but still yeah you're like where the heck is he it's coming together um okay should i just learn to stay so i can just kind of like well she can just come with me it's fine i hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you I am Bosco, thank you. Hmm, okay. So... Oh yeah, let's go talk to that person. I completely forgot. Star Collective Embassy. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the Collective, when it seems like only yesterday. It's the memorial.
And I feel like with this, like, the war and everything, I feel like tensions are definitely probably still high, right? I can't imagine it's... It was, like, many years of war, too. It wasn't just, like, a, f a couple years. It's, like, a couple decades or something, right? Only those with an appointment are allowed inside the embassy. Ma'am? Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, yeah. Who can enter the embassy? Unless you have an appointment, only Free Star diplomats and security members are allowed inside. Okay. And because you're asking the question, I take it you don't have one. Right. Um, but one of your representatives forgot his visa. You can't forget what you don't need. Diplomatic visas haven't been in use since the colony war. No, this sounds to me like a guard bought a red marker and colored some tape. I'll make a call to Sergeant Yumi and see if I can't get this squared away. Thanks for the tip. What did I just do? Did I just screw over that guy, or is this a totally different- Don't you worry. I'll have our people go and fetch the representative. Okay. What did I just do, guys? <laughs> Okay, Sergeant Yumi's here too, right? My biggest gripe is that I can't see what these were for. Where was this at? Talk to the bartender at Viewport. Where's that at? Okay, well, I did something here. And I made money. So, I think these, like, the activities are, for the most part, just, like, super random. Exactly. It's like... Small... Like, when someone fetch so quest type things? But I guess some of them can become, like, a little bit more... Oh, I think we have to get back on the thing. The train. Oh, wait. Oh, it tells you where to go with arrows. Okay, I need to start using this way more often. That's very helpful. Okay, now we'll finally see what we're talking to the bartender about, because I don't remember. Anything I can do for you? you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. What can I nope. help you with? Nothing. Until later. I'm talking to the bartender. Thank you. Somehow. Hey there. Hi. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Didn't think it was that obvious. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something that's at of customers. Break the ice. Mm. You know what I mean? Sure, Listen. sure. Right, right. You just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. Okay, thanks. That work for you, new girl? Sure. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Oh. Business seems to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Oh. Well, I have to give this a try. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, of course I not. I can't make you one right now. <laughs> Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. Mm. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Oh. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink. Uh, can't you just order some more of whatever you need? <laughs> yes. What with all these extra credits cluttering up the place, why didn't I think of that? Sorry, snark isn't helpful. <laughs> This stuff was pricey to get a hold of the first time. 
Very clever of you. Your parents must be so proud. And really, right. well, I don't have parents, I'm not even certain so this is thanks. what I need to finish the recipe. <laughs> I just, I think it is. Hmm. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Why does that have an ominous I tone mean, to it? Doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow, will it? Interesting. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Hmm. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here oh, in New right. Atlantis or the larger United Gods. Of course not. <laughs> this is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. Right. And right. if. Hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way? Well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The last thing we need is UC security on our oh, backs. Oh, I brought the wrong person with me for this. <laughs> I'm in. Who do I need to kill? No, no, no. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. <laughs> no hostages? Well, there goes my idea. Hmm. Do you have any information to go off I know off a few of? things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. <laughs> I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Right. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Okay, have you tried anything else? Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Mm. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but mm. unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? <laughs> okay, we'll figure something I'm out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. Oh It'll be God, fine. Totally woman. fine. I, I trust you. I could use a drink. Sure thing. What can I get you? After all that? Whoa, look at all those credits I have. Let's go. All right, just kidding. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Oh. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort mm -hmm. of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. Okay, that's kind of so boring. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Okay. Yeah. See you around. It was kind of boring. I'm very curious about this, Good to like, see you. UC versus Freestar stuff. It's kind of... I feel like there's so much, like, weird propaganda going around about this. Okay. I think it's time we go talk to uh, Sam. We can continue on with the main mission. Do, do, do. Oh! Oh, that's how you use it. Okay, wait. So, it only does. Oh, that's cool. Wait, wait, wait. 
Hold on, I think I can do it. Hmm. No, I thought I could do it more than once while I was in the air, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I figured out how to use that. That's sick. I can't wait to use it in combat. That's gonna be really fun. Now that we're here, perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning. Okay, Sarah. I'm listening. No problem. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Sure, whatever you need. Just stay safe. Okay, cool. Where are you going? Does that mean we're not friends anymore? What does that mean? <laughs> Okay, let's go. You ready to leave? Let's do it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Oh, maybe she's going back to Once the ship. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Okay. Sandwich. Take that, thank you. Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? <laughs> he just left her. the ship at? Do I just follow them there? Like, they literally are gonna just walk right there, I guess. What the hell was that? What? Two friends can't have a chat? Mm. Saw something shady going on here. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. Okay, rude. You don't know who you're dealing with. Alright. It must be great to be able to see yourself whenever you want. <laughs> I bet your whole house is full of mirrors. Oh, hi, Sam. Mm, no, 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 no. Sarah, please. Good work dealing with those <laughs> merchants in Free Star Space. Oh, yeah? And. What? I read your report. They said thanks. Good job. Good job? That's it? Uh oh. Yes. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Although. Run your there it is. Whenever Check I'm lost, first. I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. He just walked I've away from her. He's like, all right. All right, you are so annoying. <laughs> you better be worth it. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Discover how to create antibiotic paste and infuse bandages at a pharmaceutical lab. I have no idea what I just did. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, let's get this quest started. Point ring. 
reached orbit stable. Okay. Mm, sorry, let's go. Set the course. Oh. You've not explored every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. Interesting. Can I jump here? Designation level 15. Well, we are not ready for that, that's for sure. Wait, how do I... Can I go here, maybe? Okay, maybe we... Oh, whoa. Can I jump to here and then to there? Why, is it, why do we have to go there? Okay, we'll just... We're just gonna jump here. It says level 15 though, so we're not gonna stay there. That's for sure. Ah? Uh -huh. I will never get tired of that. Okay. Now we should be able to jump there. Okay. Yeah, level one. <laughs> Just interesting because we're like level five now, so. I feel like everybody's been saying that like you should just just do the main story, like get through the main story. Switching over to I wonder if like difficulty. You've entered Free Star Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. I wonder if the game gets harder after you've beaten the main. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City. Quest, which would be interesting. Because we're like a few, we're a little bit like, we're not super deep into the main story, but we're you know several hours in and this is still considered level one versus that other system that was level 15. Okay. So we need to land in Aquila City. Oh, here we go. Just gotta click on it. <laughs> Literally, why is it so hard for me to remember how to do that? Oh, we're level six now. I thought we were still level five. Let's go. Setting down, everything in the green. All right. Uh, we'll get up. Cool. I'm excited to see this place. Yeah, what is it? Nothing. You're looking we'll at try to keep out of your hair. Ever, really. Okay. Goodbye. See ya. Thought you were coming with me. Oh, okay. I want new clothes. I need like a clothing store. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can get like a cowboy hat while we're here. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I 
Uh, what about Cora? Is she coming? She stays with the ship usually. Got a few more years to go before I yeah. let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> All right, let's do it. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. Oh. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Mm. Um. Oh, okay. So your family built Aquila City. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. That's crazy. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man. He was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Hmm. Does he have... Is he, like, not close with the rest of his family? Or is there anybody else left? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. I just need to bask in your celebrity status. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Smartass. <laughs> this is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight is in the local gal bank. <laughs> we'll be heading there. Okay, cool. Go to the gal bank vault. Cool. Let's go. You come. Uh. Unknown. Oh, hello. Yes. Can I get an invoice? Okay. Okay. You start using this way more often. As long as it's written and signed, I could be on a loaf of bread. Here we go. I have this stuff. Oh wait, bye. What? Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh boy, are we gonna have a weird welcoming welcome here or what? Kila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Mm. Very interesting. I feel like they probably have that in common because she, I think, wanted to get out of Neon City like ASAP. <laughs> Kila's dusty. Home. That's why she just is like traveling around all the time. Hold it. Oh. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Oh. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Co. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Mm. What's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. Okay, well, we'll ask the marshal then. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. Okay. Okay, and how do I get to Gull Bank? It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Okay, well... All right, keep that if in mind. If you think you might be able to help out, you could talk to the marshal. Truth is, 
Last I heard, things weren't going so good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. Okay. It's like, yeah, another situation we have to get ourselves involved in. Just so we can get to the vault. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. That's gonna be me. <sighs> supposed to do with that um excuse me you need to stand back now mm. sounds like you could use some help i don't mean to be rude but i don't know you okay well now please stand back you know my friend here Kila city at its finest i see never a dull moment well i'll be damned there we go sam cool <laughs> Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment. <laughs> Sam on this doesn't one. even know me. <laughs> Some folks from the Shaw gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. Mm. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. Uh, the Shaw gang? It's a big group. That hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably mm. their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. <laughs> Sounds like they got the drop on you pretty good. Embarrassing. <laughs> hmm. No, we'll just be nice this once. We're trying to make a good impression on Sam. <laughs> they won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. Okay. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. So what's your plan? Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Maybe I can talk some sense into them. I should have been putting some points into my persuasion. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hmm. Well, we'll see. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Okay. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Okay. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. You what what was that look? I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Answer, <laughs> I can see him. Okay, one sec. Do I have any points? Uh. I do, I do, I do. I can't even do these. Succeed in three speech challenges. <laughs> okay, well, here's my opportunity. <laughs> Alright, well, I just saved. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. Oh, that's all I wanted. I wanted this. Can you walk a little bit faster? Oh my god. Go 
negotiator, huh? Mm-hmm. If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Okay, well, first of all, who am I talking to? What's your name? Maybe we can work with each other, you know? Um, it, it, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Oh, yeah, they are green, right? So they don't really know. Hmm. Good to meet you, Jed. I'm Nick. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're going to deal straight with us? Hmm. Because you're not the only one who's had trouble with the law. I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. Okay, okay, good, good, good. What's uh, the condition I of the hostages? They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. They don't want it. They're not going to shoot anyone. All right. Well. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. Drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll uh, radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. That's not good. If anybody good. follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Hmm. How do I know you'll keep your well, word? You think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no. <laughs> True. It could take a while to get you a ship, oh, though. Oh, hell. The Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? Right. So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Look, it's not too late to end this peacefully. You You're risking your lives by doing this. Nice try. But the Shaw Gang don't scare that easy. I'm so bad at this. Mm. I don't does this mean I have to get this many of them correct? You might as well let your prisoners go. You think they're keeping you safe, but they're not. I know, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. If even one hostage dies, your robbery charge becomes a murder charge. You don't want that to happen. Or what if your hostages have families? You really want to deprive children of their parents? Let's do this one. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Stand down now and the punishment could still be late. Maybe you're right. Nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. The marshal's going to keep those hostages safe, whatever it takes. Let them go before he has to take drastic action. This ends with your surrender. Okay, no, 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 no. Hello? Surrender now before anyone gets hurt and things will be a lot better for you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank that God. would be a lot worse. Woo. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard. Exactly. On us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. Sweet. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Sweet. Um, I do really appreciate that they do the persuasion checks differently in this game because usually it's like isn't it? oh if you have high persuasion you're just that you just click the persuade option and you've persuaded them this is like you actually have to do a good job of being persuasive security around here is what's the word Hope you got a nice reward for me, Marshal, because I just saved the day. First things first. How'd you get the Shaw Gang to stand down? I'm just that good. I won them over with my irresistible charm. Ha! <laughs> well, <laughs> you don't lack for confidence. Nope. 
Well, I bet you could sell dirt to a Dusty. Here. You I was more a Dusty once, this. so... You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. Interesting. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Yes. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Shimon. Oh. It's okay. I'm okay. I, I, I just need a minute. We left. I just need a real chance. Mm. But there's too little opportunity. And it's hard to compete with native Freestar folk. Well, that was fun. Mm, how are things Those going bastards. for you? <sighs> Moving out here cost a lot. Now we're barely getting by. It's impossible to save up anything so Liv can have a future. Okay. Truth is... I was a fool to think anything would change. Now Simone and I barely talk and live. <laughs> That's even worse. You know what the worst thing for a parent is? To look into your child's eyes and see pity. Oh. That's how you know you've hit a rock bottom. What made you want to leave Sedona? Got tired of living under the boot. The UC always tells you what to do and how to do it. If you're down, they want to keep you there. Mm. I thought maybe hard work and patience would lead to better things. But it became clear that that was never going to happen. The only way out was to leave the UC behind. So I brought the family here. Things aren't much better. But at least I don't have the piglets breathing down my neck anymore. <laughs> True. Hmm. There's at least one pro to moving here, but it doesn't seem like it's perfect here either. Well, I guess I'd like to help you and your family. We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house. I mean, there's something. But it's a hell of a thing to ask. Well, what are you talking about? Remember? You asked. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin. Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Okay. Milena's family. It might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Oh, okay. Never mind. Milena's <laughs> the colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. Okay, well, what's her problem with Aquila City? Uh, she clams up the times I've asked. Not even Simone knows. I'm sure she's run afoul of the law somehow. That's kind of how she operates. Hmm. Well, all right, fine. <sighs> you are an answer to our prayers. I feel bad. Milena called Simone <laughs> yesterday. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot. Okay. Meet up with Milena Axelrod. Okay. We're picking up so many quests. I'm going to have to do them all at some point. Okay. Oh. Sammy, let's go to the bank. And you're breathing? Back to normal yet? Mostly. Still feels a little weird, though. Guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. You need to give it more time, younger. The tube. Guess that means you won't be telling the marshal that I'm approved for field duty. Not yet. There can still be a setback, and I need to be close at hand if that happens. Fine, fine. But you should know that I'm crawling the walls in here. You just take it easy. Shouldn't be long now. Well, hey there. Oh, hi. You seen those ashed outside the walls? They keep me in business, if you take my meaning. Oh, I haven't seen the Ashta yet. I haven't seen any creatures yet. Okay, after this, we'll have to go exploring on the actual, like, planet. We'll do that next episode. We'll do some actual exploring. I try and give a credit or two. You got some business with me? Oh. Oh. Shit. 
<laughs> this was not what I meant. <laughs> I'm the hero that solved the, the Gal Bank hostage crisis. I wasn't really here for the Freestar Rangers, but... Really? You must have impressed the Marshal. We could pick up the quest. I'm guessing he wants to recruit you, so <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about who we are. Okay. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. Right. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship oh. theft, Hello? or put some yep. would-be bank robbers behind <laughs> bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people oh. safe, we do. Where'd she go? Don't most places have their own security force? Sure, but we rangers work across the whole of Freestar Collective Space. Okay. Sounds like dangerous it work. It can be. Yeah. yeah. We tend to get called in when there's a threat too big for local security to handle. So that means we hunt the most dangerous game. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Okay, well... Is it paying work? That's like our number one. <laughs> I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. Oh. But yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, there's not much pay, but like, do I get any authority over other people? Or Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective Space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. Okay, and are there a lot of rangers? The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. Mm. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Okay, well, I think I got all the info that I needed. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, mm -hmm. the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? Given the way I had to bail him out, how about you give me the Marshal's job? <laughs> Um, how do I apply? Do I fill out a form or something? I prefer a more practical kind of evaluation. Mm. I'll give you the details if you want to join up. Okay, well, uh, it's a big decision. I, I gotta think it over. Look, you have to be completely sure about this, so take whatever time you need. Right, I... Just come and find me if you decide you want to join. I was not supposed to come here to begin with, so... Which I should have realized when I didn't go into the bank. <laughs> Hiya. A year or two back, I shared a drink as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. Okay, cool. Some make it seem like he built the whole damn free star collective by himself. It's another like little outdoor bar over here. That's kind of cool. Steel. Oh, get in trouble. Ah, she's so cool. I feel like can I go one episode without talking about how, how hot my character is? <laughs> for now oh I guess you were being held hostage as well are we good in here why is everyone still being held hostage we'll take it from here oh ah, so damn tired <laughs> okay well that's what you get guys oh that's Jed sorry okay let's go Let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. 
thanks. What, you just chuck it at me? from <laughs> Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation. So it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Okay. Nope. All right, let's see. Note for Sam. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. I should have read it. Who's Jacob? Why did he take the maps? He's just a bitter old man. Oh. Interfering in what's none of his business. Okay, but... I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. You're gonna be like this the whole way? I'm sorry. Damn it. I was hoping to avoid okay, the estate. Me. <laughs> Cora's gonna be so mad. Why would Cora be mad? Because I told her we wouldn't have time to check in with her. Oh. Look, I was trying not to do this, okay? Alright, level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. Can I... I can't. I can't quit. We really gotta do this. Um. Okay. So I only need to do th three. I mean, there's no harm in just telling me. I don't know. Uh oh. No, that's mean. We're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find out. You're not wrong. We can't work together if you don't trust me. It's not supposed to be your business. That's what I'm saying. Look, Fuck. I'm done talking. You'll find out soon enough, okay? Let's just get going. Damn it. Sam, why must you do this to me? Can I read that? Um, I don't think it's gonna work out, guys. I'm trying to romance him, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um. Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Okay. Who is Jacob? Is that his dad? His brother? Okay, he's going to hate me if I steal stuff. Let's go. Come on. Should I just let it go? I just don't fully understand the whole persuasion thing. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Okay, we gotta go like all the way into the city. I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. Founders. My family came in what? 10, 15 years old. Yeah, Sam just takes his good old time. <laughs> I actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process, but he did walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? Oh. Okay. Alright. We're gonna get him to understand our sense of humor, okay? <laughs> Maybe they could be enemies to lovers. <laughs> oh boy. Well, well. Sam Poe finally decides to darken our doorstep again. Oh boy. You know why I'm here. What's the deal oh? here? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. 
Let's hear it. This is drama. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Oh my god. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. I got as much right to those maps. Okay. Why do you two hate each other so much anyway? There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the star field doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Let him talk. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Oh. Okay, let's well, definitely his dad. Um... Okay, what's Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Hmm. You need a minute? Uh, you want to talk, like, talk about what just happened there? No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes. Every time. Hmm. I don't want to bring Cora into it. Maybe I could speak to him. He might see reason, even though I'm terrible at the persuasion checks. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Okay, well, we'll see. I mean, maybe we could use Cora, but I, don't, I feel weird asking to use his daughter for this. What do you want, Constellation? Okay, first of all... What's your problem with Constellation anyway? Also, I'm literally so new to Constellation and I'm only here because I touched a weird trippy... block... that sent me into an alternate dimension. And made me trip balls, okay? <laughs> you mean besides the fact that you're some independent group that doesn't know where your loyalties lie? Why or are does that you even referring matter? to the fact that my granddaughter lives in your clubhouse rather than in her family home? Hmm. Yeah, he's got the issue with his granddaughter. Okay. Please. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co property by birthright, it stays here. Well, Sam is living up to Solomon's legacy in his own way, exploring space. Solomon did more than just take off when it suited him. He built things, inspired others. Sam's your son. You don't want to help him? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> well... Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. You really believe that, don't you? Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of that was my easy. hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. That Keep. was so easy. Well? My own father's trying to keep those maps from me. I guess we're done. Okay, well, I got your maps. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Mm. Would it be under here? I don't even think we can... Can. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's go talk to Sam. Sam, you're going to love me. I did it. All right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. What? Whatever it is, we can handle it. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who mm. held up Galbank. Okay. How are they surviving outside the walls? Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashta. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Hmm. What do you mean? Damn, I was hoping we were done with these, with this gang. <laughs> Me too. But there's no help in it. We're going to have to get through them and the local wildlife to get to that cave. All right, I guess we gotta travel to the empty nest. All right, well, I think we're gonna end the episode here. I feel like we finally have a good spot to like actually end an episode. Um, I'm excited to meet our new companion, Sam. I know he's a romance option, so I think this is gonna be the plan. I think it's gonna be... Have what you want now. Okay, relax, sir. <laughs> Not the family drama. Um, I feel like they're like opposites, but like she's a bit more, she's a bit more like do, do whatever, you know, she's also very like sassy. I don't think he fully gets that about her yet, but they're going to bond. Okay. They're going to bond over this. So. Yes, enemies to lovers. Starfield edition. He's just sitting down eating a sandwich. He's like, I don't have any more of my time to waste with you. Like, screw you, Dad. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat your food, <laughs> even though you don't want me here. And I took your map. Um, but yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna end it there. Uh, thank you guys again so so much for watching. As always, if you've been enjoying this playthrough and you enjoyed today's episode, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really really help out the channel. And I will see you in the next one.